Well, hello, everybody. This is Ken Mitchell here on The Edge on missionsradio.org, and we appreciate all of you tuning in around the world from China to Russia to Africa to, well, even New York and California. That's around the world as well and around the corner. We've got a lot of people listening here in the Texas area, Arkansas, Oklahoma. we got people listening from everywhere, but we've got a very, very special interview that we've been wanting to, to, to put in place and make this happen for some time, and we have finally got it all pulled together. And I'm excited about it. I'm excited about what this man and his team, what his group has done to help so many people around the world. Over 850 grants have already been awarded to organizations and groups and empowering them to do the things that they need to do to continue to improve the quality of life around the world. So today we have on the line with us Mr. Rick Delarada of Jazz for Peace. Welcome to the program, Rick. How are you today? Very good, Ken. Thanks for having me on. Oh man, we wouldn't have it any other way. Hey, let's get right in to this and and let's begin to find out how you know, as an organization, as a nonprofit, as a good cause, as just somebody that says, you know, I've got this going on and it's growing, it's happening, but I need some help. I need some help with funding. I need some help, you know, with all the aspects that Jazz for Peace does and, and the things that you guys are involved in. It's just, it's just amazing. You know, when I when I began looking into all the things that Jazz for Peace is involved with, and and, and where you've been, I mean, the endorsements, uh, and, and I know you you know I you know you're not looking for the pat on the back, but there has to be something said because of the effort and the the time that you guys have sacrificed to make this all happen. The endorsements have come from President Obama all the way to congressmen, senators, I mean, kings, priests. I mean, it's huge. It's just amazing, and it's and it's very significant in our culture uh, that what's happening right now and what you're doing to help people. So let's just let's get into it just a little bit, but let's find out first, if I could, Rick, let, let's just talk about you for just a minute, and then we'll get right into, you know, help Hoping to you know plant those roots and what that looks like, but let's find out about Rick. Tell us just if you could you know how you started in music, you know all the different aspects, what encouraged you to get in, into music. Uh, I've listened to a lot of your music in the last few weeks and months, and just beautiful stuff, man. Beautiful stuff that that you and the the other members, you know, as you travel, you know, as I've listened to the videos. But tell us about Rick Delorado. Sure. Thank you so much. Um, well, you know, we, I started out uh, really with a person who had a lot of um, musical goals. And as I started to achieve those goals, I found myself performing all over the world. And, uh, you know, meeting people from different cultures and finding out, you know, that music um, and the special American art form of jazz uh, just has a way of transcending boundaries and barriers cutting across all kinds of age groups and religions and all kinds of things and reaching people on a real amazing, um, you know, connection and, and, and on a real fundamental level. And uh, I uh, found that, uh, you know, there was a lot of common ground amongst people all over the world to, uh, you know, that we all have goals, we all have dreams, we want to achieve those goals, we want to achieve those dreams. And um, they're all really just wonderful. They're all dreams that, you know, to help our planet, to help our people, to help our society. Uh, they're just amazing goals and dreams that people had. And uh, when 9-11 occurred, I started to get a lot of phone calls from around the world, these people that I had met, who said, you know, uh, you should really uh, get your message out, your global message from all these people that you've met. and." Uh, all of this common ground and the way that you can use the art form of jazz um, as a way to promote outstanding causes and uh, as a way to unite people in a positive way. So uh, I decided, you know, maybe I maybe they're right and maybe I should uh, get up and do something that maybe this, you know, terrible accident uh, that I had already written a poem called Jazz for Peace for was a catalyst for me to, you know, kind of um, 
go from talking the talk to walking the walk. And that's when we started uh, the Benefit Concert Series, which is, of course, the biggest part of Jazz Repeat. Also, the Education Series and the Instrument Donation Series. That specifically helps children. Wow. Well, let, let's just let, let's do this, Rick. Let's just say I'm I'm an organization and I need some help. And I've heard about Jazz for Peace, and I'm saying, wow. I mean, you know, you guys are, are you know the fifth tour you're going to into Africa. You've got Uganda. You've got all these different things. And I'm looking at this and going, well, you know, I, I'm not at, at that level, but. Am I at that level? I mean, is it something that you can help me, the, 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 the little guy with a, a big vision? Well, you know, our goal is really to help you get from where you are now to where you need to go. And so that doesn't matter if you're a startup organization or if you're the big names that we've already assisted multiple times, uh, you know, Special Olympics, Red Cross, UNICEF, they've all been grant recipients. We've helped, we help people from where they are today to where they need to go. So let's just say you have an outstanding cause, you're an outstanding dream. Uh, what you'll want to do is simply start out by going to our website. It's jazzforpeace.org, real simple. You know, uh, some people just Google Jazz for Peace and they get to our website, but it's the best way I would say type into your browser. And if you're online right now, just go ahead and do it so yeah, you can see yeah, yourself well, how easy it is. Uh -huh. So go right, uh, jazz for Peace, J A Z Z F O R P E A C E dot O R G. Jazz for Peace right, org. Let right. me know if you're there. Right. Are you there? I'm there. I'm there. Great. Now, what you'll see at the top is banners, and those are of upcoming events. If you happen to be looking today, uh, you're following. If you're listening today and you're following this, you'll see that we're getting ready for our fifth tour of Africa, and so you'll see. Um, you know, outstanding causes that we're promoting in Cameroon and Uganda. Mm. You'll also see, um, you know, U.S. events coming up in Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, right yeah. here in New York City, uh, actually Long Island. But you'll see these um, organizations, and, you know, they, they get wonderful promotion just from people visiting our website from all over the world, but that's just one, you know, small aspect of, of what we're doing for them. But um, you can even click on that and find out information, et cetera. But what you'll really see... Uh, after you, you know, below those banners is the opportunity to get funds. It's right there on the page and it lets you know grant provides immediately cash infusion and it says to click on the tree or the link below uh, for the summary and to obtain funds. So you can either click on that link that you see right there or there's a big picture of a tree and if you want, you can just click on that big giant tree. All right. I'm going to so go click ahead. on the tree. Yeah. Click on the tree. It's big, it's right. visible, and you just click on that tree. And now you're here, uh, and this is everything, you, everything you'll ever want to know. It basically says at the top of the page, once you click on the tree, it says, Jazz for Peace Grant, Grow Your Empowerment Tree. And what mm -hmm. you'll want to do is bookmark this page, okay? So you go to your All bookmarks, right. and it'll say, you know, add bookmark, show bookmark, whatever. Do that because anything you'll ever need, you can get back to here and find, okay? All right. Um, the first thing you'll see as you scroll down a little bit, it'll say one-step funding that's simple and easy. Uh, media, media cash infusion, join 850 of the world's finest causes. Help us plant the roots so we can grow your empowerment tree. And that's an important sentence to remember. Help us plant the roots so we can grow your empowerment tree. And I'll explain exactly what that means. But basically, it'll let you know how simple and easy just follow Greg, the grant seeker. And the first thing that you'll see is this picture of this cartoon character, Greg the Grant Seeker. And it's kind of a guy, uh, looks like he's walking with a check in his hand because he just won a grant. That's why it's called Greg the Grant Seeker. Now, if you look above him... looks like my brother. Right, with the red hair and the glasses. <laughs> it's kind of a funny yeah. little caricature. But, you know, it, it does the job because people can follow yeah. this all the way down the page. Before you even follow it, what I'd like you to do is simply read the introduction from our founder. So right above Greg the Grant Seeker's picture, you see where it says read the introduction from our founder? Right. Click on that and just click, click on, on the introduction. It's from me. Yep, it's in my own words, and it's just me trying to, you know, help people understand uh, how to get from where they are now to where they need to be through this funding. So as you can all see, right. at, at the top it says one step can make all the difference. And that step is help us plant the roots. If you help us plant the roots, we can grow your empowerment tree. Um, the first thing it lets you know is that we have been blessed with a wonderful uh, group of staff and volunteers. You know, you can find out about our prestigious supporters because these staff and volunteers 
have helped us uphold these very high standards, which have attracted all of these people that you've mentioned, you know, whether it's presidents and congressmen or prime ministers or secretary of labor in Brazil, all kinds of people around the world. And you can click on that link and read all about them. You can also read the benefits of this grant right there in the first paragraph by clicking on that link, okay? In the second paragraph, it also, you know, lets you know but our prestigious donors have also mentioned the same, you know, about the wonderful team uh, of volunteers and staff that have gotten the job done by making a difference for outstanding causes. And you can read a letter from one of those prestigious donors that we have, and you can get to read that. But as we go along, while a lot of people feel that Jazz for Peace has become one of the most significant cultural events of our time, I personally, by being here myself all of these years, I really believe that our greatest achievement is more of the philanthropic nature. And this is because, Ken, every outstanding cause, project, or artist eventually reaches the point where they are convinced of the importance to not only thank, reward, and rejuvenate their supporters, okay, if you're an outstanding cause, that might be your, your, your board members, your donors, the people who care about you, um, you know, your volunteers, you want to thank, reward, and rejuvenate them, but also expand this vital constituency. You know, if you're an artist, it might be your fans. Uh, you don't only want to thank and reward the people that, you know, love and care about you already, but you want to grow that vital constituency. Right. And Jazz for Peace does that, okay? And at Jazz for Peace, we call that planting the root. And that's why we say, help us plant the root so we can grow your empowerment tree. And for those outstanding causes, artists, or projects who have reached that point, um, this funding is extremely uncomplicated. So in other words, Ken, if you're at the point where you've realized, you know, uh, let's say Mission Radio, we need to thank, reward, and rejuvenate the supporters that we have, uh, which I'm sure makes sense to you, but also expand oh, yeah. a vital donor base, then you reach the point where this funding makes sense to you, it appeals to you, and of course, at that point, it's very uncomplicated. Hello, I'm making a VIP list to thank our supporters and expand our vital donor base. Guess who I'm going to invite? All my friends. But since Jazz for Peace is paying, making it such an incredible deal, I'm gonna take full advantage of this fantastic opportunity. I'm inviting my family our supporters, and all our potential future supporters to cash in. I'm going to make sure they listen to the music, watch the amazing videos, and read the VIP letter. And also make sure all of our team members make a VIP list too. Since this step is only the roots of the tree, my goal is to complete this step quickly. Now I know what it means to help Jazz for Peace plant the roots so they can grow our empowerment tree. To get my VIPs confirmed, I'm going to review their five proven techniques and choose the right combination that's best for me.